Hello, everybody. Um, thank you for getting on. So when I'm at work, I feel like I've talked a lot about like just changing healthy lifestyles for myself and my family. So I think you guys have all heard that. Um, and then I look at the patients and I think, my gosh, there's something huge missing in their lives. Um, I had a little boy today, he came in four years old and they were talking about his attention and how he can't attend in school and he's biting his nails and he's so stressed out. Um, and I asked mom to tell me some of the things that was going on in school. And she told me, and it wasn't all developmentally appropriate, um, but then I asked what his nutrition was. And she said, well, you know, he eats, it was like five things, the common five things. And I said, can I ask you a question? If you ate those five things, how would you function? And she just kind of looked at me and she actually got tears in her eyes because I think it, it was like an aha moment for her. Um, you know, and then I, I met a mom over the weekend who broke his baton with his sister and he's on the spectrum. He reminded me very much of all the kids that we work with. Um, and now he has pica. And mom's like, he's just eating everything. And I said, he's, he's nutritionally, his body is looking for something. So over the last four and a half years, I've learned that when you flood your body with the right things, your body wants more of the right things. Um, and when you flood your body with the wrong things, your body wants more of the wrong things. And I think ourselves and you know the kids we work with and the people that we know, you kind of just get in the routine of what, what you do eat. Um, so I wanted to just take tonight to give everybody the opportunity to learn what I've learned, pieces of what I've learned over the last four and a half years. And um, Jamie had suggested we do it maybe in a meeting at work, but I thought this was way more fun because you could drink wine if you wanted to. So um, this is Sharon Farrar. She and I met um, years ago through my pediatrician, four and a half years ago, and she kept saying to me, you always need more juice plus. And I was like, nah, and I didn't really want it at first, but um, we've become good friends and I really admire and respect her. So I wanted to put her in front of all of you. All right. Well, thank you, Kristen. And, you know, you therapists are near and dear to my heart. My oldest son, who's now 18, is a success story for high-functioning autism, but it was a lot of therapy, you know, and so what you guys are doing every day is really, really helpful um, for early intervention, and um, I really appreciate that. And I'm one of those moms that had to do a lot of different interventions, one of them being nutritional interventions and um, going to an acupuncturist, you know, and, and doing some detoxing and all types of things like that. So um, I've learned from a lot of healthcare professionals within the Juice Plus community, but also with my own special needs child. And I know exactly what Kristen is talking about, what those foods are that those children crave the most. And it's really hard to widen their variety of foods, but it can be done. And so I've been able to help other children with autism to, you know, widen their palate and stuff like that. So anyway, I hope that you guys will enjoy this information. It's a culmination of all that I've learned over 18 years of being in a network of healthcare professionals that um, iron sharpens iron, you know, we're learning from each other all the time. And, and so I'm going to encapsulate all that I've learned that I feel are, is really important. Um, but also to share, you know, what we also have to offer through Juice Plus. Um, so anyway, this is kind of the, the presentation um, that I do when we, when we meet up at Total Wine. So if Kristen's ever invited you to Total Wine, this is kind of, you know, I try to interact with the crowd and tonight we know I might not be able to do that so much. But basically, healthy living used to be really simple. You know, we played outside a lot more. Um, we could drink from a water hose and we got a lot of sleep. And it was just a simpler life than nowadays with a lot of fast food, a lot of fast paced things happening, um, you know, more sedentary lifestyles, more chemicals in our foods, things like that. And people are really tired, you know. And so what we're going to talk about today is just how can you take care of the body that you have in this fast paced society and um, integrate, you know, some of those foundational things that really do help us to stay healthy. It's the only body that we have to live in, so we need to remind us of our, remind ourselves of that every day, and just try to, to do what we can every single day to have the healthiest we can be. And for optimal health later in life, you know, we want to be what. I don't know what age you want to live till, but you don't want to live that long and be in a wheelchair and in the the medical system, you want to be vibrant and um, ready to go, you know? Um, so how are you taking care of you? And so ask yourself, am I eating more real food? And I'm trying, am I trying to integrate more real food into my 
daily routine? You know, am I exercising more? I went on a walk today. I was sort of stranded because my oldest son now can drive and my husband took the car and I was like, oh, well, it's only down the street. It was good to get out in the, the sun and walk and um, I hadn't done that for a while because I was in an auto accident. So it's good to get out. It gives you, they say, um, 10 minutes of brisk walking can actually give you more energy for two hours. So that's a good payoff, you know? So make sure you're out exercising, getting some nice vitamin D. Um, drinking water, we're supposed to drink half our body weight in ounces a day. And so if you're a 200 pound man, let's say, then you cut that in half, that's 100 ounces of water that that person should drink. And if you're drinking caffeine, you, or having caffeine, you should drink even more water. If you um, are out in the hot sun, even more water, things like that. So always water to detoxify and um, also to just cleanse the toxins out of your cells and to hydrate your cells. And then sleeping seven to nine hours a night, that is so your body can heal. You know, um, That's when certain hormones come out to play at night. So you want to do that as well. Well, right now there are two trends in our world. There are environmental toxins that are increasing and there is the food quality, which is decreasing. And so um, we've got more preservatives, more GMOs, uh, artificial uh, flavorings, colorings, and everything, less nutrition, pesticides, growth hormones. So there's a lot that we're battling with. And there's also a lot of diseases that are on the rise, including diabetes and um, obesity and they call it diabetes and you know there's just different things that we have to battle with even autoimmune disorders that we didn't really hear about for many years there's now a huge rise of autoimmune disorders which I'm going to talk about when we get to talking about the immune system how uh, it's just out of control the autoimmune disorders and you probably could think of some of the names of them um, that just didn't exist for a very long time or they weren't labeled. Um, so the good news though, is that your longevity is only based one fourth on genetics, three fourths on lifestyle choices. So in the end, the genetics loads the gun, but your lifestyle is what pulls the trigger. So what we do every single day is what's really gonna matter the most, those lifestyle choices. And that's just a picture of two men about the same age and just um, how we, make choices every single day that will determine, for the most part, what will happen to us. And one of those biggest things to drill down to that we can do every single day is focus on nutrition. Because every day, and if you eat three meals a day, you're putting stuff in your mouth three times a day, but I think I put stuff in my mouth all day long. I don't know about you guys. But um, we need to be careful and think about, are we you know, feeding disease or are we helping our immune system? Thomas Edison said the doctor of the future will no longer treat the human frame with drugs, but rather will cure and prevent disease with nutrition. And so he was way ahead of his time. And if you go to Barnes and Noble, you'll find that there are books on reversing heart disease, reversing thyroid, reversing this and that. And a lot of people nowadays, when they get in the medical system, they think they're destined to be on certain medications and that whatever um, their past has been, that is their future. But, you know, you can take a lot of control over your health. And so um, we want to think about everything that we're eating and drinking. The striking reality is that 90% of the food eaten in America is processed. So we've got to really realize that. And we live in a time when our children are more harmed by poor diet than by exposure to drugs, alcohol, and tobacco combined. So the diet is so important that 75% of diseases are preventable with good nutrition. So we're gonna just take a little uh, ride down to being nutrition detectives, as if we were going down that aisle of processed food. First of all, don't trust the front cover, that's marketing. Secondly, um, the first ingredient is the biggest, which you probably learned in school, so we just need to remember that. And then you wanna identify harmful ingredients like monosodium glutamate, hydrogenated oils, things like that, and if you, can't make it in your kitchen, it's probably not a good thing anyway. So they're probably harmful if you can't really pronounce it or make it yourself or buy it in whole food form. And then a long ingredient list is definitely a clue that maybe get something that has a shorter ingredient list that has quality ingredients. So instead of always looking at the numbers, looking at the quality of the ingredients and, oh, is that good to go in my body? Can my body filter that? Is that something my body 
even knows what to do with. And then looking for more fiber. All day long, it's good to look for fiber. If you're gonna buy a boxed food or a processed food, at least two grams of fiber in that boxed food or processed food. Um, ultimately, we want you to go around the perimeter of the store and have whole foods that, that don't need a label. But when you do, you know, look for fiber. And then what are some fiber-filled foods? Real foods that grew from the ground have fiber. So those are your fruits, your vegetables, your nuts, your seeds, your beans, um, and your whole grains. And so those foods have a lot of fiber and um, real food doesn't always need a label, you know? And so look at the top also, real food rots. The watermelon rots after a certain amount of days and that's because it was alive. So as much as you can, you also wanna eat live foods because we're live human beings. We need those live enzymes and those phytochemicals that's keeping that watermelon alive. That's what's also gonna keep us alive. So when you eat dead food all the time, which is an example at the bottom, and sometimes doesn't even rot, that's not going to be helpful to your body. You might think it's food, and people are lining up for it every day, but it's not really going to help you in the long run. So you wanna think, even if you are eating that type of food, you wanna think how many raw foods can I get in my body every day so I can have some of those live enzymes to go with it. And um, so fruits and vegetables are the common denominator on what keeps us healthy. So we're gonna drill down to fruits and vegetables because that is what we want to increase the most in our body. And so I'm gonna share with you why. Um, in this Time Magazine article, it says the news isn't that fruits and vegetables are good for you, it's that they're so good they could save your life. And that's really the truth. And I'd love for you guys to really dive into that over the internet and look up fruits and vegetables and look up any disease or disorder one of the first things it's gonna recommend is to eat more fruits and vegetables. And so um, you'll see like if somebody's um, diagnosed with a disease of some sort, they'll start juicing, they'll start trying to pile on the fruits and vegetables because really the minimum is seven to 13. Remember that's a minimum in a society that's not that healthy. We wanna have as many as possible every single day of fruits and vegetables. Seven, that requirement is of children and then 13 is for adult men who exercise. The people we work with and the people that um, are trying to really help people fight disease, they say more than that. They, and they said it like a decade or more ago um, to eat like 20. So you can't have enough, you know? It's really good to have as many as you can. And a lot of our nutrients have been lost over time for various reasons with our fruits and vegetables. So it's good to have a lot, as many as you can all day long. Well, one of the things um, that is in an apple or an orange or kale or papaya, any of those things, is called phytonutrients. And a lot of people try to bridge the gap when they don't eat enough fruits and vegetables, they're trying to have a multivitamin. So I wanna just show you what the difference is. You know, the, the, the gap that we have is like the Grand Canyon, one of the doctors says, as far as how many fruits and vegetables we're not getting in our diet every day. So to try to bridge that gap with the multivitamin because you don't feel well, it's really barely scratching the surface. So this is just one example of one fruit, which is apple, but in kale, same thing, orange, carrot, you name it. Any fruit or vegetable has about 10,000 nutrients. So on this page, it shows 400 nutrients. And then if you drill down to that, you might find vitamin C. So then uh, what happened many years ago was they found vitamin C. They said, oh good, that's water, you know, soluble, easy to replicate, and it's connected to scurvy, which is a disease that could be prevented with more vitamin C. We're going to now replicate that and put it in the multivitamin. If you look up on the internet, which amazes me, how many vitamins have ever been discovered or identified, you're going to find that it's only 13. That's it. That's all that's in your multivitamin, okay? Then when they add some minerals, you might have about 30. But remember, in that apple, there's 10,000. So when they take out that one vitamin C, that leaves the 9,999 other good things that was in the apple. Same with, say, spinach. They look and they say, oh, there's calcium. Let's take that out and let's go ahead and get some magnesium. And that's what your doctor tells you to take when you take calcium. Also, make sure you take magnesium to get it absorbed but it actually needs boron, phosphorus, vitamin K, all these other things that help it get absorbed and stay in the bones. 
So the best source of um, calcium is green leafy vegetables. So it's important to have that synergy of nature. And if we're not eating enough fruits and vegetables, we're not getting that synergy that comes with eating those whole foods and having all those little elements that have not even been identified and named so that then they put it in the multivitamin. That would take forever and um, they're not going to do it probably. So here are um, the ones that, that typically are in your multivitamin, but any fruit or vegetable has about 10,000 nutrients, okay? So you need to just eat the fruits and vegetables whether you like it or not. And so the other reason is oxidative stress. So I definitely want you to wrap your mind around oxidative stress. It's one of the most important things to think about. It's linked to poor health for sure. It is um, something that's happening in our body every single day, just as we're breathing, we're eating, we're exercising. If we do high intensity exercise or if we eat bad or if we smoke, um, any of those things, if we're under stress, then um, actually we have higher oxidative stress, you know? And so we need to really kind of predict how many antioxidants we need because that's what combats that oxidative stress. And if we don't combat or neutralize that oxidative stress, what happens is that on our good cells, which we want to protect, um, they receive 10,000 oxidative hits every single day on all the different cells, whether it's brain cells or other cells, all different types of cells in our bodies, they're getting all these, as it's called on the slide, mutagenic oxidants. And we don't want those mutagenic oxidants hitting on our good cells. We're here today because we have more good cells than bad cells. And we wanna keep those going. So we've gotta have antioxidants to the degree that we have oxidative stress. <clears throat> And so here's what happens over time to a normal cell, the free radicals or the mutagenic oxidants are attacking the cell and then the cell ends up being mutated, which then leads to disease or, um, or aging earlier. So we want to slow that aging process. We don't want to age as fast, okay? Um, at least I don't. And so we want to eat that wide variety of fruits and vegetables. We want to choose color and variety because every different fruit or vegetable has some kind of value and if we're always eating the same ones we're not getting um, all that there is so what does our company have to offer to help bridge that whole food gap well first of all gardening is always great um, we've got something that is awesome for gardening and that is the tower garden which is hydroponic aeroponic it's a way to have non-gmo um, you know lettuce kale parsley, basil, you name it, anything that's not a, a root vegetable or a tree can go in the tower garden and grow like 20 plants in that small space of about five feet high and three foot wide, which would be a big lot or plot of eight by 10 if you were to, to do it in the dirt. And so it saves on um, land, it saves on water, it's recyclable water and 90% um, less space. And there's no dirt whatsoever. The um, nutrients are ionized so that it can go into the water and use that as a medium and it grows 30% more three times faster so that's one way in which you could look at those and say okay I'm gonna have vine ripened which is better because um, it's not rotting in your refrigerator and it's not been picked two weeks in advance to get to the store um, and also you can control herbicides pesticides things like that here are just some examples of what can be grown in the tower garden and how big one pod can get. And um, you can have 20 pods or 28 pods in a tower garden. Here's some more pictures and it's a lot of fun too. And schools are integrating this. Locally we have some, some schools that have it and um, the Boys and Girls Club, our company donated one to every Boys and Girls Club in America, which is pretty cool. Um, here is a picture that really struck me um, 18 years ago when I started to learn about the value of fruits and vegetables, I was not a healthy eater. Still, I'm not a perfect eater. I've made a lot of simple changes along the way, have a long way still to go. Um, but here is what really hit home for me. And, you know, nobody wants to get cancer. Nobody wants to get, you know, Alzheimer's, stroke, any of those things. And this is just one poster of what is recommended for cancer is to eat lots of fruits and vegetables. And if you were to look up stroke and Alzheimer's and all those other things, it would also say the same. But I was really amazed that um, this, this really hit home for me to just visualize this because 
the poster used to say, watch for fast growing moles or irregular moles and stop smoking and things like that. But now it's all fruits and vegetables. So that should really tell you the power of fruits and vegetables. And then in this Newsweek article, it says one to two pounds of raw broccoli eaten weekly has 20 to 50 times more anti-cancer capabilities than the cancer drug tamoxifen. So, you know, there's a lot of power in fruits and vegetables. So this was my before and after, or is my before and after picture. Up at the top, I was very unhealthy. And that's when I had my first baby, who I told you is 18 now. And I did not know what <laughs> what this, what to expect um, diet was in there. It's called the best odds diet. And I'm like, man, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I didn't know what brown rice was, brown eggs, brown anything, um, bran, all that stuff. And I was like, oh, I'll just do my best, you know? And so this community has really helped teach me um, what the better foods are and how to get them simply. And so at age 40, which is the bottom picture, eight years later, I had a healthy baby, you know, and the doctor was not happy that I was pregnant at age 40. And um, I said, listen, buddy, I'm so much healthier now than I ever was. And so I had my, my baby girl and uh, all was good. So you can, you know, change over time, integrating simple things. And here's the simple thing that I got started with. The, the first simple change was Juice Plus. It's fruits, vegetables, berries that have been juiced for you. They take out the salt, the sugar, and the water. They're vine ripened, which is awesome. They're raw, which is awesome. A lot of people don't eat vine ripened or raw or variety. And this is a way to get that every single day. And really, it's such a simple habit, but yet it has such significant effects that it's easy to integrate into your diet and, and make a difference. So you take two red, two green, two purple every day, and you've had all this produce that's been juice for you and you get the phytochemicals from that. And I've seen so many great effects with people, um, all different types of people, which we'll get into the research in just a second. But also it comes in um, chewable form, which makes it good for people who don't swallow pills or, um, or um, for children. And a lot of doctors are recommending that. And I like this quote, you'll never change your life until you change something you do daily. And so that's what really happened with me. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. It's those habits. Here are some of the juice plus effects um, people have. Eating more fruits and vegetables, they drink more water, um, less fast food soda, better sleep energy, workouts, healthier gums, less bleeding, improved complexion, less cold and flu, decreased over-the-counter medications or visits to healthcare providers, improved body weight, bowel movements, that's one of the first things, improved overall sense of well-being. That's from our um, just surveys that we do with people. That is not the research, but those are surveys that we do with people. Here's where the research has been done on Juice Plus and on our complete shape, which I'll tell you about in a little while. But um, basically, University of Florida, MD Anderson Cancer Center was, um, you know, research was done on uh, stage four ovarian cancer patients. University of Mississippi was done on pregnant women. Nemours Clinic in, um, I think it's Jacksonville, Florida, was done on boys who are about 10 to 12. And so all of these, these different populations, can you imagine going to the university and saying, can you try this on these populations? They'd say, no, you have to have a lot of research before you could ever have a research study on those um, particularly tender um, at risk populations. So uh, Juice Plus has been researched for the last 25 years, has been proven to be effective and safe with all these different universities and medical centers. Here are some of the summaries of what has happened. It improves cardiovascular wellness. There's at least five studies on that. I'm going to explain one of them in depth in a second, but um, basically lowers um, homocysteine levels, which is a biomarker of disease and really good um, indicator for heart and lots of other things like calcium, blood pressure, cholesterol, things like that that have been looked at as well. Supports a healthy immune system within 80 days, the T cells are up, the natural killer cells are up. And for me, that was what I loved. You know, I was really run down. I had allergies. I used to go for allergy shots. I used to have a Kleenex in my hand at all times. I no longer have allergies. I have a lot more energy. I say, you don't need an energy drink. You need to actually feed your cells what they need. And so um, just totally different vitality by infusing all those fruits and vegetables. Improves gum tissue, 
reduces inflammation. And when they say that, that's systemic chronic inflammation, which is very dangerous and connected to a lot of diseases, protects DNA. Um, because the reduction in oxidative stress within 28 days, then your DNA cells are not getting as damaged. And what they found was, depending on the populations, there's like a 20 to 66% reduction in DNA damage. They look at strand breakage. It's like making a copy of a copy of a copy machine. Our cells have a little bit of damage every time, but with Juice Plus, not as much damage by 20 to 66%, depending on the population and the study. So that was amazing. Um, healthier skin, people pay hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for healthier skin, but it really comes from the inside and what you're eating. And they found better hydration, better microcirculation, um, better skin density and thickness. And um, with this lung health, what they found was uh, better pulmonary function. And with childhood obesity, they found better insulin resistance. So those are just some of the studies. There's actually 36 or 37, I've lost track um, of how many studies because they just keep coming out with more. Here's one, the picture's not so good. But um, this is in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology. This was um, a study that we all really loved because it was looking at people who ate McDonald's and, um, and it really hit home the power of fruits and vegetables. So when, when you go eat a high fat meal, whether it's McDonald's or whether it's Thanksgiving or um, maybe Outback Steakhouse, who knows? But when you eat a high fat meal, you are reducing the amount of room in your blood vessels. So it's blood vessel constriction. And what they found with Juice Plus, the orchard and garden blend after 28 days, and they compared it with placebo, um, they found a 62% reduction in the blood vessel constriction. So it was opening back up. And then when they added the vineyard blend, the orchard garden vineyard, they said there was no more constriction of the blood vessels after that high fat meal, where it had been 40 to 60% for four to six hours, this whole window of um, where you're, you're just shut down with your blood vessels um, a little bit, you know, by 40 to 60%. And so what they found with the orchard garden vineyard blend was no more constriction of the blood vessels. They said it basically eliminated the detrimental effect of the high fat meal, at least for that measurement. So we don't want people to go out eating high fat meals, but at least when they do, they are protected. Um, and it really comes down to the endothelial lining and how our body really when you give it the right materials, the raw materials, the fruits and vegetables, it will do amazing things for your body. Um, we added another blend just recently in October, and we're learning so much about how healthy omegas really help a lot of things. You know, our brain is mostly fat, and we want to feed it really good fat, and we want to feed it in the right proportions of omegas too. And so our company came out with a variety of omega from plant-based sources which includes cold pressed berries and algae so that it is vegan. And so we now have the fruits, vegetables, berries and the omega blend. And here is um, just a little bit more about the ingredients and all that good stuff if you wanna look really quickly. But we are super excited about that. Here it is, pomegranate seed oil, raspberry seed oil, sea buckthorn berry oil. They went very far to get that. Tomato seed oil, algae oil, safflower seed oil. And so um, it's pretty amazing to support the heart, the brain, the joints, the skin, the eyes, and they will be doing research on that as well. So they, they really went out of their way to make it the best product. So we're also taking that. So our family takes the Trio blend, the Omega blend, and here is the other tool that I've used um, since I started Juice Plus 18 years ago and pretty much what my breakfast is almost every morning. And that is our Juice Plus Complete. And you can read some of those ingredients on the left. And those were my boys many years ago. Now they're 17 and 18. They do grow up. You guys need to snuggle them up <laughs> tonight. Um, so anyway, we have started our day with the Juice Plus Complete for many years. And here is my princess, the one I told you about that I had when I was 40. She's now 10, so you guys can do the math. And so anyway, um, we use the Juice Plus Complete every single day, uh, whether it's after school or before school. It's a way to get a lot of good plant proteins. It's a low glycemic index um, product that is mirrored after healthy countries to have a lot of good plants that help to build your intestinal bacteria, 
help with fiber, getting proteins from plants instead of animal, and um, good things like that. And I'm sure Kristen would be willing to give you some samples or she's probably made some for you. And so it could be a healthy breakfast, a pre or post workout. It could be an afternoon or late night snack. I've been making it into a pudding also. And I'll do that like before Emma goes off to basketball or when we come home or if I'm craving chocolate, I'll make this chocolate peanut butter raspberry um, pudding that you guys wouldn't even believe how good it is. So good. Um, anyway, when you have the complete and you have the trio blend, you're having all these fruits and vegetables and plants before you even leave the house. It's about 45. If you have the omega, then you're having about 55 plants in your diet every day. Do you think that might change your health? So um, that's what I mean by those habits. If you have some really good tools like Juice Plus to have those habits, you're going to have such awesome health. And so um, some people who want to um, just not have the ups and downs of their day, the, the sugar high and then the low and, and trying to really control that. The Juice Plus Complete really helps to control that. There's like this um, less willpower that you need because it's a low glycemic food. It keeps your, your blood sugar stable. And then we have, for those people who want to go even farther than using those tools, we have programs like the Shred 10 and that is every first of the month. We're gonna do two of these in January to um, integrate the Trio Blend, two complete shakes a day. That, and that right there is transformative. Um, drinking lots of water, sleeping, exercising, and then eliminating things that, that cause more stress or just take more of a toll or energy from the body. And that is to process gluten or to process dairy. Those are two big proteins that are harder to process caffeine, alcohol, processed foods, artificial and refined sugars. And then um, they say, try not to eat after six, which I always stretch it to seven. And I also say, well, if you can't do it, I'll do a semi shred. So, you know, we're not going to chase after you or anything, but this is a great way to learn really helpful habits and to see, oh my gosh, what am I going to do without this or that? And then you're in a Facebook group where they're posting like lots of ideas and recipes, things like that. And what it does is it helps to shed um, toxins. And it's um, from a biochemist who looked at, you know, when people want to lose weight, if you did want to lose weight, then um, they do it sometimes in an unhealthy way, that this would be a healthy way because you're also shedding toxins. So anyway, we can send you a video about that if you'd like. But um, basically, we're, we're always trying to get as close to those guidelines as possible when eating, because that is really... If you look up all the diseases and disorders, besides reading about fruits and vegetables, a lot of times it will come down to some of these recommendations as well. So our company's really in the know as far as what's going on in the research and what will really help you. And um, I put down those salad jars too, because we do salad jar parties. We have a lot of good community, things like that. I like to say, if you have the shake in the morning, you have like a salad jar for lunch, you're gonna have healthy snacks in between, and then healthy snacks after the salad jar, then have a really healthy dinner at night. Um, and also, sometimes we'll have a shake at night too, either before dinner to help control the appetite, or um, after dinner have like a pudding bowl. So it always helps, and that's a lot of fiber if you're eating a lot of plants all day. Well, basically, good nutrition equals good results, no matter what. So you just want to infuse as much good nutrition as possible. Eat as many fruits and vegetables every single day as you can. Juice Plus is not expensive. If you were to go and buy 30 fruits and vegetables every day, oh my gosh, I can't even imagine how much that would be. It's less than $2.50 a day, and I like to say it's like buying a better body. That's what it did for me and a lot of people. You know, it's really an investment in your health. And my kids do not really have to go to the doctor's office, you know, unless they break their bones or stitches, things like that. So it really keeps you on the wellness side of things. And then our shake is just $2 a serving. And it's one of the healthiest meals you can have in a day. And then Juice Plus is free for children ages 4 through 18. And we have a million children on Juice Plus for free. And we have, ever since I started, they've had this children's health study program where you get on Juice Plus and then the child gets theirs free which is awesome. So again, we wanna take care of the body that we have. It's the only one we have to live in. And so I hope this was encouraging to you today to help you make some good, simple changes. And I'm gonna throw it back to Kristen. 
Oh, let me unmute you. Oh, sorry. No, I'm you. There I think you. I muted you on mute. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming on. Um, I just wanted to say to keep some of the things, these are just some of the things that I've learned over the last couple of years. When you're asked, when you're speaking to the parents, um, just to kind of get an idea of what the kiddo's nutrition is and, you know, their nutrition is. Um, um, and think about it for yourself because God knows they're all sneezing all over us. I got sneezed on today by Colin. Uh, Nikki, Nikki brought it to my attention. I didn't even notice because it happened so much. But um, does anyone have any questions for us about anything? Anything more specific we want to hear about? Anybody? You could raise your hand or unmute yourselves. Or... They probably don't want to be put on the spot. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, sometimes people have a lot of questions, but thank you for coming on. I, I do have the shakes and everything, so if anyone did want to try, I'm happy to share. Um, sometimes I make them, and I, I think I brought them, and usually I make them when people come over, but if you want to try shakes, just let me know. And if any questions come up, don't hesitate to ask me. Oh, or Sarah, Sarah raised her hand. You did yes, it. Yes, my friend. Let me unmute you. Go ahead. Oops. Oops. She oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, question, because right now I'm doing all of the different juice pluses without the omegas. Is it any is it less effective then without the omegas or is it just that it can add like what is the difference in having and doing everything else, the shakes and the other fruits, berries, and veggies if I'm not doing the omegas right now. Is that like bad? No, it's not bad. You're doing phenomenal already. And the omegas just came out. What we've always done is like flaxseed, grinding flaxseed or putting chia seed in our shake, things like that. Um, it's good for inflammation. Omegas are, you know, one time I heard uh, a dietitian talk about how omega-3 is supposed to be equal to omega-9. And we eat so many omega-9s or 6s that it just is good to always infuse your diet with omega-3 as much as possible or to have a healthy um, you know, array of omegas. So whenever you can, you know, we just now are getting the omegas ourselves from the company, and I think it's a great way okay. to that, but by all means, started, it's doing great already. I started with the omega in April. I think that's when we were able to get it, right, Sharon? We, we yeah. got it, and that's when one day I I kind of was like, man, I don't need coffee. So now if I do have coffee, I have a cup of decaf. And you guys all know I was always drinking coffee. I don't need it um, anymore. The, night, the really nice part about it is it doesn't taste like fish. There's all, and I'd have okay. to, I don't remember. Um, they just recently rolled it out at conference in October. But it has a, almost like a creamsicle, right? Was that what you would say? Like a, yeah, like it's a orange, different, orange you know, creamsicle. An orangey creamsicle. So you can, for Cooper actually bites it in the back of his mouth, and he sucks the juice out of it, and he just takes the plastic and he throws it away. Brooke is Brooke. Oh, that's so funny. That's something I would do. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, but it definitely helped. Definitely, I noticed um, just more energy. I don't need caffeine. And it doesn't taste bad. Like, I want to pour all of this down the kids at work. So, basically. Yeah, I mean, most right. awesome. nutritionists recommend omegas. I mean, and heart doctors, and it, it always comes up. So, it's like our, they surveyed our customers and they said, What else do you take? And they said, Omegas. So, they wanted to go out and make a better omega. And, they did. So yeah, we, we've got like three messages today about omegas and how it helps with the dry eyes, um, with contact lenses and all different types of things. So, but that's not the research yet on our omega. It's just people, you know, giving great feedback. The, the omegas are coming straight from the plant, not from, not from the fish. They took out the middleman. So it's not like it's synthetic and they made it. They just got the middleman out. The middle fish. Okay, fish. awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, you guys have a good night. I'll be glad to hop on the phone or Zoom with any of you one-on-one -on -one with Kristen um, anytime. All right. Thank okay. you guys. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye guys.